we've done a lot of work over the past decade on the inflammatory basis and the immune basis of, uh, of this pathology. So we know a lot about the cells and the cytokines that are involved. Um, now, uh, people's attention are really turning a lot more towards pain and the pain part of this whole thing, the symptomology and how they can better correlate that with the signs and the underlying uh, cellular problems of the disease. Yeah, that's a very good question. So, you know, we learned uh, very early in the whole process that you can prevent the progression of the disease by treating it with the appropriate therapies. And uh, once the patient gets to end stage, it's very difficult for them to react therapeutically to any, any therapy. So um, getting a patient early is critical. Steroids are absolute immunosuppressives. They're not, um, they're not specific as to which cells they inhibit. So you put a steroid on the ocular surface and you're essentially immunosuppressing the entire tissue. You're getting rid of not just T cells, but macrophages, neutrophils, that doesn't care whether the cell's active or not. And it, it actually immunosuppresses and, and the side effects of steroids are well known. You know, increases in intraocular pressure, wound healing problems, it, the list just goes on and on. There's a lot of baggage. These are very useful things in short bursts, but uh, can be dangerous in long term. So therapies like cyclosporin and lefitograst are much more targeted to the pathology. So they're much more T-cell related and uh, can help the patient with the disease progression and the disease uh, reducing symptoms and signs of the disease. At the same time, the patient is still um, only immunomodulated and not immunosuppressed and they can still respond to challenges to the surface. So these are, are therapies that can be used in the long term and help the patient. So, you know, I, I mean, I really discuss the pathology as we know it today. But if you listen to Professors Rolando and Colonge, they really talked about the need for um, the reduction of symptoms in these patients and, and helping them uh, not only reduce the, the immune-based inflammation, but actually helping them feel better. And so we now have two approved medications, both of which, you know, are very targeted to the pathology. And now I think the focus is more towards uh, symptoms and pain and trying to develop something that, that will work on that. And you know, who knows, maybe these medications will help with that, but um, those types of testing need to be done.